What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And we are gonna get right into the topic of today's video, Meg Griffin. And can she be sexy? So to answer that question, I first started with a Google search of sexy Meg. See what's out there. And this is what popped up once I put in sexy Meg Griffin. Went straight to images. And there are not a lot, but there is a lot from the show, but I'm really looking for some from the show and some fan art. And there is a few fan arts up here, but my mission is to do something totally different from what I see. And I see a lot of cosplay. They even have Peter dressed as May. All right, well, that's, this is what it is up here. So, yeah, so once I, I I took a nice look at what was online, I settled on the actual photo of Meg and, and two images of some sexy females, and we're going to try to combine that. And the reason I got the one with the belly shirt is because I'm going to have Meg's shirt rolled up. So let's go. I'll be doing this on Procreate and... I already uh, have an idea of how uh, Meg will be uh, positioned. I'm using one of the photos as inspiration with her hand on her hip. And uh, my difference is I'm adding in the rest of her legs, which is not on the original photo. So I'm trying to make all that come together fluidly and still look like Meg. Because that is the challenge I gave myself is I didn't want it to not look like Meg. I wanted to still look like Meg from the show. And the funny thing about cartoon characters is they look simple on TV, but really trying to get the lines down pat because that's the main thing about cartoons the lines tell the whole story of these characters. There's not much fine details within them. It is the main lines. So if you don't get those lines correct, it starts to not look like that character. So, you know, the, the artists and animators that draw these characters have been drawing them for many years and they, they have a pattern of how they get through these characters to make them look like the character, you know? so for as an artist who does not who has never drawn a, a character it is definitely a challenge you know because you can't really embellish and add a lot of your own flair to it because then it's gonna take away from the real look of that character you know certain comic book characters you can add your own flavor to it and you could still tell it's that character but not really when it comes to these cartoons it's like even there with her wrist, you know, you, you don't want to make her hands too slim. She has, she's, you know, Meg is kind of thick on the show, but I didn't want her as thick. I tried to slim her down a little bit, but still wanted her a little thick. So I decided, let me, you know, thicken up the wrist and I'm going to give her some, you know, some, uh, I'm definitely going to give her more of a voluptuous look. So... Once I had that down pat in the position I wanted her standing, we are just uh, putting in all the other pieces. And the challenging part was definitely the face and getting it to look like Meg. We want the shirt tight, stretching, and then we are using the tied shirt reference to get that going. Uh, you definitely want to use references and try to meld that with your original drawing because that's a challenge in itself so we definitely uh, done with the outline and now we are coming with the colors and this is my favorite part because we are getting close to the end 
And for somebody that has never done Meg, she was a fun character to draw. And I would suggest this to anyone. Take one of your favorite characters, or even a character that might not be your favorite. A known character you just think is interesting and just try to do something different. But still try to capture the essence of that character. You know, and... And that is definitely what you would call creativity. Because you're not just taking something that is just uh, there. You are adding on to it. Yeah. Even though, you know, copying still builds your skills up to your line work. You know, I'm definitely nothing wrong with that. But if you're doing it for uh, trying to challenge yourself, you know, this is just another way taking something that already exists and flipping it, adding your own flavor to it, but still trying to keep the originality. And no matter what the cartoon is, you might look at a character and think this is a simple character to draw. Challenge yourself to that line work because you definitely will find it challenging to try to keep that character looking like the character you know. So there we go, we're just getting the highlights in there shadows are there Meg is looking good all right and there you have it folks we are done hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember smack that like button hit the subscribe Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. Drop me a comment. Let me know if I reach my objective. Is Meg sexier? Any feedback will be appreciated. So until next time, y'all be good and be safe. Peace.